7.52 at KNEV. Time for today's News Extra. And here again, Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. And we're going to talk about Earth Day today and all the wonderful things that are going on at Main Street Market as part of that celebration and at other places as well. Susan Wiedemann is here again from Main Street Market. Also, Cassidy Baum from Keep Scott's Bluff Gearing Beautiful. And, uh, boy, if you weren't part of that Recycle Your Cycles Day last week that they put on, you missed out. They did a great job. We'll talk maybe slightly a little bit about that here this morning. But let's get going with Earth Day. Starts 10 a.m. to noon, Susan, over at uh, Main Street Market. Boy, you guys got a lot of things going on. We do. This is the ninth year that um, I think that we've done this. And it all started with uh, plastic bags. And if you remember when the landfill opened up its new cell and all these bags blew over everywhere, and that's kind of where the whole idea started. Um, Our main thing that we do tomorrow is we give away cloth bags when you bring in a bag full of plastic bags. And everything will start at 10 o'clock and we'll go till noon tomorrow. Um, Other things going on, Platte Valley Bank graciously uh, partners with us as well as DocuShred, and they'll be um, in front of their plaza branch, and they'll be shredding up to three boxes of paper and um, also taking cardboard. Um, Might be a little soggy, but it's okay. Uh, Trees will be given away by the North Platte NRD um, at 10 o'clock. They have about 500 trees that they have, so that'll be, um, and they'll kind of give you some tips on how to plant them. We're going to be taking household batteries as well uh, tomorrow by the customer service booth. If you have time, please tape the tops. That saves us some um, labor. Um, Then we're going to also have the Scotts Bluff FFA chapter. Uh, They'll be testing well water. Uh, Please bring your your country well water in in a small glass jar, and they will um, test that for you. Caney B will be there. Chris will be there tomorrow. Right, 10 a.m. to noon on the to FM. Noon. So if you're listening in the morning and you're kind of wondering what you need to take, if you forgot about the stuff we're talking right. about, he'll tell you right. all about it. And then uh, over by Mr. Tire, we'll have auto battery collection. And if you have an old propane bottle you want to get rid of, we'll be taking those. The city of Gearing will be there, and they'll be taking the used oil and antifreeze um, collection um, by, for, by the city of Gearing. And then, of course, we have that trailer in our parking lot that get you, that gets used a lot. I know I visit with Anthony over at the city of Scotts Bluff. I think they're there every day dumping that. And it's one of the few places in town that actually takes glass. And uh, so you can uh, bring that over there at that trailer. They also t- We also take cardboard in there, aluminum, plastics, magazines, newspapers, all of that, if you just want to bring that into the, tra- into the trailer. Wow, a lot of stuff. No big N-O, capital letters, screaming. Electronics. No electronics. Um, if you do have electronics that you want to um, dispose of, uh, environmental services take those on an ongoing basis in Scotts Bluff, and they're behind Ideal. And they take those Monday through Friday, so you can take them there. And then the Gearing Landfill is having free dump days um, tom- tomorrow on the 16th, as well as the 23rd, and they will take up to two tires. All right. So don't forget about those f- free dump days. All right. Whew. So that's what's going on over at uh, Main Street Market. Cassidy is going to tell us about some other stuff as well right after this break. This is your Nebraska State Treasurer. If you have a child 13 years old or younger, I encourage you to enter our Nebraska Nest on the Farm photo contest for a chance to win a $1,000 college scholarship. Just take a digital picture of your child in a rural setting or have your child take a picture of a rural setting and email the picture to us by June 30. Include a short caption. That's it. Your child's picture will be entered in a drawing for a $1,000 college scholarship. To enter your photo, go to treasurer.nebraska.gov. That's treasurer.nebraska.gov. Back on News Extra, Susan Wiedemann is here along with Cassidy Baum from Keep Scott's Bluff Gearing Beautiful. We're talking about the big Earth Day celebration tomorrow over at Main Street Market. Just a ton of things going on there, including document shredding. You get cloth bags tomorrow. Uh, Trees giving away, you get uh, water well testing, a lot of different stuff going on over at uh, Main Street Market. We've got all of that, uh, I think, up on the website. And if you uh, miss any of that, you can listen to the FM in the morning, 10 a.m. to noon. We'll have a live remote uh, right there to talk about all the things going on. Cassidy here is going to talk about it is Nebraska Motorist Litter Awareness Day. I know you probably didn't wake up today and say, really? 
That's what it is, but it is, and so you got a lot of things going on with that, right? Yeah, we have uh, partnered with Taco John's and Runza in both Scotts Bluff and Gearing, and they're going to be handing out litter bags tomorrow in their drive throughs just to remind people to not throw their trash and other litter out the window. That's great. So uh, they'll be doing that. Uh, you have a raffle also going on tomorrow over at Main Street Market, right? Yeah, we begin selling t- tickets tomorrow uh, at the Earth Day celebration, and we're going to be selling tickets through May 19th with the drawing on May 20th. Uh, they are $5 for one ticket or 5 for $20, and we have a yard machine that's a chipper, shredder, and a vacuum. We also have a gas Troy Belt trimmer and a 36-inch extend reach pruner. Wow. So you got some things that people might be able to use, especially if you have a large yard. Those are those are great things to have. Yeah, the yard machine vacuum looks like it's going to be really handy for people with a lot of trees and bushes, and it shreds up to a two-inch diameter branch. Yeah, so it's pretty nice, huh? Yes. And you recycle your cycles. You had to be thrilled last weekend with what happened there, huh? Yeah, with, that was my first event as the director of Keep Scott's Bluff Gearing Beautiful, and... I think it was a huge success. The bicycle club agreed with me. They were pretty surprised at how many bikes we collected and how many bikes we were able to repair and put back out in the community. Yeah, fantastic. Her daughter was the quality control person. Oh, yeah, your daughter was the quality control person. She test drove all the bikes. How old is your daughter? She's six, going to be almost seven. All right, right at that age where she could do that really well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's what's going on tomorrow. If you're wondering about uh, drugs and sharps and all that stuff, that is later on in the month, so don't bring those tomorrow either. We'll be telling you about that particular uh, situation and that event later on this month. Cassidy will be back to do that, all right, as well as probably Susan. (laughs) (laughs) All right, very good. All right, you guys, well, have a nice day even with the rain and the snow and all that stuff. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Thank you. You bet. All right. Bringing you the KNEB Lawn and Garden Show, Saturday mornings at 9. This is 960 KNEB Scotts Bluff Gearing, your trusted voice for news. From ABC News.